Hello there, everyone. Today I'm doing a tag. My name's Maggie, and yes, we're doing the tea, afternoon tea book tag. And yes, I do have my cup right here, in front of you. Huh. <laughs> so tea break. Mm. I love tea, so this is the perfect tag for me. Um. Okay. First question: Tea, a book you find comfort in. Um. I have two for this. Um. Other than Harry Potter, um. I have found comfort in. Um, Rainbow Rowell's books, Ellen and Park, and Fangirl. <laughs> um, I read both of them in 2014, and I read Ellen and Park two weeks, in two weeks, and it took me a little longer for Fangirl, but I love them both equally. I need to read the rest of her books, and yes, I love them the for Ellen and Park and Fangirl. Anyway, Scones, something hearty. But a big, delicious book. And for this... <laughs> you have to know me by now, because I'm always going to have Harry Potter in any tag video. I'll try not to for some tags, but... Um, Harry Potter and the, and the Order of Phoenix is that thick. So, other than that, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> um, number three. Clotted Cream, a book you didn't like at first but ended up loving. Um, I'm going to have to say Paper Towns. I mean, as I I love John Green, and I've read The Falcon Our Stars, and this is the only other book that I've actually read by him. And, I mean, as well, I, I just, I loved the plot and stuff, but it was just... I don't know. Read it if you haven't read it. If, yeah, if you haven't read it yet. Anyway, Finger Sandwiches, a book you like, but that's not quite satisfying. Um, I'm going to have to go with The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. Um, as much as I loved, not really loved, I liked this book, but it was still good, and this is the only Sarah Dessen book that I've actually read. Um, I can't really compare it to her other books because I haven't read them. So, I mean, it was still good, but it wasn't really as satisfying. <laughs> um, Jam, your favorite pair of characters who are just sweet together. Um, I'm gonna have to say, other than Hermione and Ron, I'm gonna have to say Katniss and Peeta from The Hunger Games. And also, Kath and Levi from Fangirl. And Eleanor Park from Eleanor Park. So, yes. Alright. Um, number six. Petite Four. A favorite short book slash novella or short story. And for this one, I'm sure you can already tell that I'm going to have to pick The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, this is, like, the only short book that I've actually read ever, other than what... American schools do for short books and whatever. I really found that I really related to the characters and the person being a wallflower now that I've done the things that they've done in the book. But I just felt really infinite. Um, okay, number seven. Dun uh, seven. Strawberries and Cream, a dynamic duo. Um... I'm going to have to say, um, Kath and Levi from Fangirl, um, Ron and Hermione from Harry Potter, and Kath and Levi from, uh, Fangirl. Um, number eight, and final question, your favorite cut teacup, a beautiful character, too pure for this world. Um, I'm really going to have to say either Levi from Fangirl or Neville from Harry Potter, um, I just really feel like they're the they're really great characters that they can't live in this world. I mean, yes, Neville is a badass and a hottie, but I feel like they're too pure for this world. So, yeah. And that is it for the tag. I tag all of you to do this tag who haven't done it. Um, and that is it. Hope you had a good new year. And I love you, Book Nation. Goodbye.